What is going on everybody? Rob here with RK Motorsports. This bike that we're about to rebuild is one that I know a lot of you have been waiting for. We are going to start working on our 2015 wrecked GSXR 600. So if you guys haven't seen the first video for this bike, I will put a link in the corner here if you want to click on that and check out the first video. That was us picking it up from the auction. Feel free to check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Let's get started with this bike and let's go over the damage assessment and get a closer look at what this bike is going to need. So it's been a little while since our first video, so I'm gonna give you guys a little refresher on what this bike looks like. Again, a lot of the stuff in the front end does have a majority of the damage, and we don't really have any fairings on this bike. So starting from the top, we have a front stay that is broken. We're gonna have to replace that. Our gauge cluster looks pretty good. Really, it's still usable. I think there's, there's a couple tabs broken on the back here. I believe I do have a new housing that we can replace this with. Our front forks are bent. And I did know that going into the purchase right here, it's kind of tucked in. I think the wheels crooked a little bit. So I do have a new set of front forks that we can use for this bike. Our clip on right here, that's supposed to go right around there. That part is broken, so I do need a new clip on. Checking out the radiator in here a little bit. Radiator looks pretty good. You can see we got this frame slider here on the bike. That took a brunt of the force. Obviously, it didn't really protect the fairings that are now missing on the bike, but this did its job with protecting a lot of the major components on this side of the bike. Up to the tank here on our side plastic cover. This is plastic. This is metal. So this is our side plastic cover. We got a little bit of scuffing on here, but I believe our new plastic set will have replacement pieces for this part of the tank. And then there's just some, you know, bird droppings on here. It's a little dirty. We'll clean it up. We'll get this looking nice. But for the most part, I think this tank is pretty much undamaged. Down here, we got some nice GSXR decals on the frame. These do add 10 horsepower, but unfortunately, we do not need that horsepower. So we are going to be peeling these decals off the frame. Checking out our side cover, a little bit of surface scratching on here, really nothing crazy. We'll probably just end up cleaning this up a little bit and getting it nice and fresh. Really not too much damage on this side at all. I did notice when I was checking the oil level for this bike, this thing is definitely overfilled with oil. I noticed on the kickstand, this bike had the oil level to like the top line. That's really not the way it's supposed to be measured when the bike is standing straight up. That's when the oil level should be measured to either the, you know, between the two lines. This is way overfilled, so I'm definitely going to be doing an oil change and getting this set to the proper level. Moving back a little bit more, we have our busted rear set. This is all broken and bent. We're going to have to get a new rear set for this side. These GSXR heel guards, I'm not a big fan of these. These are kind of tacky. I'm going to see if we can get rid of those and put some OEM looking stuff on there. And how can we forget this exhaust pipe? That thing is minty. <laughs> We're going to definitely be getting rid of that thing. Moving back a little more, we got some nice LED strips on here. You guys know how I like those LED strips on there. So we are going to be definitely ripping those off the bike. And we've got some swing arm extensions. I am not a fan of these at all. So we're going to be taking those off, setting this wheel back to the stock length and putting that all back to where it should be. We are missing the side of our tail plastics here along with a turn signal on the rear. You can see this is what it should look like. We are missing all those pieces on that right side on the tail. Nice fresh chain right there. We are definitely going to be getting rid of that chain. I've got new chain and sprockets because with us eliminating these extension blocks, we are going to have to shorten up that chain. So I have a new set of chain and sprockets for this bike. We're going to be throwing those on there. Really not too much damage on the swing arm. So that is good. And it looks like our rear set's pretty good over here on this side. Really, this side of the bike doesn't have too much damage at all. I think it was majority was on the right side of the bike. You can see what kind of looks like this red, like dust looking stuff. This is actually rust that's from the chain because somebody neglected to grease and lube their chain. So the chain gets dried out and that, that starts rusting and that rust dust just kind of gets everywhere in the front and starts spreading around the bike. So we're gonna clean this up and we're not gonna have to worry about that once we get that new chain on the bike here. Got that other GSXR decal on here. This is another 10 horsepower, which we are going to be getting rid of after we peel that off the frame on this side. Got some more of these LEDs, which we will be removing. Got some real minor damage on the stator cover over here. Nothing crazy at all. Man, there are a lot of tacky modifications on this bike. We have these CNC aluminum hand grips. I am not a huge fan of these at all. I will be getting rid of these and putting some regular rubber hand grips on this bike. 
When I pick this up, you can see all these connections are unplugged and we do not have any wires in here. This is pretty much the connector that goes from here up to our gauge cluster. So we're missing that sub harness for the front. So right now, if we were to turn the key on, we really don't know how many miles are on this bike. So that's another thing that we're gonna need. We're gonna have to get that wiring harness for the front in order for us to even turn the key on and get a reading of the mileage on this bike. Because when I picked it up, the mileage was unknown. Just when I thought we were done with the tacky modifications, I found one more thing for you guys. Down here, we have this, what's supposed to be like a light up valve stem. Do not install these on your bikes. I've heard some horror stories of people that have these on their bikes. You have all this extra weight on your valve stem. And I've actually heard of these pretty much ripping and flying off your valve stem and pretty much ripping the valve stem right out of the wheel. So that can cause a dangerous situation. I definitely do not recommend running these on your bikes. Get rid of them, throw a regular valve cap on, and then be done with your day. Now, I actually did go ahead and order a majority of the parts ahead of time, so I have a lot of those parts over here. So one thing I wanna do is I wanna throw that front sub harness on the bike so we can see if we can throw a battery in there, turn this bike on, see exactly how many miles are on this, and see if we can get this thing fired up. So let's do that first before we start stripping the bike down. So right here we have our accurately labeled package with our front harness. So let's take this out and start attaching this to the bike. Now we just need to take this end and plug it right up here into our gauge cluster. So we have got our front harness on, we've got our jump box connected so we have power to the bike. Before we turn the bike on, again, I love doing this, I want you guys to hop down in the comments below and put your guess in as to what you think the mileage is for this bike. I will give you guys a special sneak peek. The inspection sticker says 7,048. Now you guys can use that to your advantage on your guess. And I wanna give a shout out to Joe CBR from our last video that we did with our CBR 300. He was only 17 miles away on the guess for the mileage on that bike. So good luck with your guesses, guys. Get those comments in. Now let's turn the key and see what the mileage is on this 2015 GSX-R600. And if you guys remember, we ended up buying this bike without a set of keys. So I had to bring this bike to the locksmith. We got our brand new set of keys here. Both of the keys work. So let's pop this in, turn the key, and see what we got. So right there on the side, 9,465 miles are on this bike. That is really nice. We have a bike that's less than 10,000 miles, so this thing has a ton of potential. Let's see if it'll fire up. Nice, this thing fired right up. Engine sounds really healthy. I can't speak much for the exhaust because this thing is god awful, but it doesn't sound too bad overall. So this thing runs, we know the mileage. Now let's start stripping this bike down so we can get a nice clean platform to start rebuilding this bike from.
And now I'm gonna put all of these LED strips right where they belong. In the trash. Remember, safety first, got the red, white, and blues. So these are the swing arm extension blocks I was telling you guys about. This is exactly why I do not like having these extensions on these bikes, especially if you have somebody installing them that doesn't know what they're doing. This brake caliper bracket right here is not even mounted to anything. Now you can see there's a little bracket here that's supposed to slide into this rail to hold it on the stock swing arm. This is literally just sitting here, not connected to anything. So I'm sure if I hit this with a hammer a couple times, that literally was just wedged in here and you can see the aluminum was all bent up. That could have been really, really risky. God forbid if that thing had broken loose and the rear wheel locked up, that could have been bad news. I really advise people to stay away from these aftermarket swing arm brackets just because you know they can cause way more issues than what they're worth. And that right there is a prime example of how things can go really bad really quick with these aftermarket swing arm extensions. All right guys, so we have thoroughly stripped this bike down. We've got the front end off, we've got the rear off, we've got all these parts laying over here. We've got our forks here, our bent forks, bent old forks that we're replacing. Got our wheels here. I've got the gas tank sitting in the office over here. This bike is completely torn apart and we've got these old swing arm extensions off. So nice to see those off the bike now. So this thing is in a nice state. Now we can start focusing on really kind of detailing the bike and then building it back up with new parts and getting it in tip top shape. So that is gonna wrap up today's video with part one of this 2015 GSXR 600. Thank you again to all my Patreon supporters. I have three new supporters I want to give huge shout outs to. Thank you to Donald, Ed Clark, and Mike. You guys rock. You are supporting me on Patreon, helping support this channel. I will run your guys' names down right here. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next episode in part two, where we will be finishing this bike up and getting it all wrapped up. See you guys then.